Welcome back to my channel. Something a little different, first aid kit for locksmiths. We're in our trucks, service trucks, service vehicles all day long. It's smart to have a first aid kit in your service truck. Also, you should have one in the house and you should have one in your personal car. Now, everybody has their own personal preferences and this is just a couple, two that I've set up. This one's my sort of camping one and it's in the service truck. There's different versions of this and I uh, actually, my son's uh, happy uh, Christmas coming up because I've given you each one of these. But I'll just show you what, you should have a first aid kit. Anything's better than nothing. Everybody has their personal choices. This is mine. I like the little, uh, you know, I can hang this. I like the mollies because I can put it through the, through the cage to hold it on. I can screw it on somewhere. And I can just rip it, rip it right off. You know, if I, if I have that on there and then I can pull this out quickly. So I like these little rip-off bags. Now, on mine, again, this one's kind of uh, one I like. I've got the glass break belt, seat belt uh, cutter on my little, uh, I think that's a, a Smith & Weston. I like having a little uh, a marker. Uh, you know, sometimes you write the person's name on their forehead. If you get drugs, which we don't give drugs, this is a first aid kit. And this one's a little bit more trauma, trauma style because that's kind of uh, what I like. Now what I have on here is a tourniquet. tourniquet. You, uh, a lot of kits don't have it. And yes, you can make it real quick, but you know, they're really inexpensive now and there's a lot of good ones. There's some clones out there. We know more uh, on first aid. We're better at it and uh, there's better training. Get trained on this. Uh, this is not a how to be a first aid attendant thing. This is just my kit. I'm just showing what I like. I like a tourniquet. Uh, some guys like a couple of them. Uh, on my secondary kit, I got another one. So like to have them, understand how to do it. Hey, do a first aid course because uh, it's always good to know what you're doing. But this is my kit. I'll show you what's inside here. And this one's a little bit more heavy duty than most people, but the first thing I like to have, I call it my boo-boo kit. So the boo-boo kit is basically, I just got in here a couple little kits. I got band-aids. I got some little, if I cut myself with the chisel, this happened with the chisel, got some little, uh, butterfly straps, butterfly band-aids. I've got in this kit, I've got some uh, uh, alcohol wipes, some iodine wipes, just some antibiotics. Uh, I'm out of burn. I actually burnt myself camping and I used up my burnt stuff. And the other thing I have here, you know, just something I like. My Tylenol, some Advil, uh, some stomach upset stuff. Again, this is up to everybody how they like to have it. I got some little pair of gloves here. Yeah, this is my kit. Everybody's different. Got some gloves. Now, I like to have on this, and I like to wrap everything up for one reason. Uh, I actually got one of these soaked, and uh, I was kind of upset that everything got wet. So I got my little scissors, uh, tweezers. I know locksmiths, we have tweezers, but these will pull out those little splinters. Uh, uh, these are just, just for the first aid kit. Uh, forceps, a little bit overkill, but uh, I like to have one in. Now what I really like is, uh, I got a space blanket too. Uh, a lot of people die of shock, so if you're there, you know, a little space blanket's perfect. I uh, got these are great products. I got them uh, originally on Amazon. I liked it so much, I actually uh, brought a box of over 100. Uh, there's the Israeli bandages. So these are wound bandages, gauze, you know, wrap it around. Uh, it's uh, it doesn't have the tensioner on this one, but these are great. So, and I could also be used as a tourniquet as well if you need uh, more than what you got in there. Uh, the bandages were, are really meant for gunshots, stab wounds. Uh, you can do anything you want with these. These are not expensive when you buy them by the, by the box full. So, and the box was 100. Again, a little bit of overkill. Uh, I just like, I just cause uh, I like the, uh, for the emergency room doesn't like this that much, but when you're on the road and it's an emergency, uh, the quick clots, there are all sorts of kits. You got that, just that wound that just will not, no matter how you pack it, no matter what, the, uh, the clot, the clotting agents are fantastic and it's a big bandage as well and the clotting uh, components. 
I think surgeons hate them too, but hey, if the person's dying, they're gonna bleed to death on the road. Uh, this is a good thing to have. Uh, we're lucky in North America and most Western societies, we do have a, a Good Samaritan Act. As long as you're trying to help, uh, it's, uh, you're not gonna get sued. You know, we're not doctors, we're just trying to help. You know, I still gotta learn how to use this. Uh, it, it seems to be the big thing, um, the nasal, uh, to get a passageway. And this is first to aid. This is a little bit beyond first aid, but uh, there's that kit there. Now, these are uh, puncture wounds. I know, hey, it's, hey, use the plastic bag, uh, but these are all modern stuff. Uh, it'll go, you open it up, you just, if you got a, a, a bubbling puncture, uh, these are fantastic. Uh, it's good to have them, but in an emergency. Now what I'm missing on here, because again, I said I went camping and I used my stuff, so I gotta throw some tape in here. This is just, uh, oh, and a, you gotta have some gauze, and this is a, actually a triangular, again from Israel, uh, some really good figures, doesn't it? You know, they're in uh, a lot of battles, so I got some Israeli, uh, has some good stuff. There's a lot of uh, well-made North American stuff. So that's my kit, a lot goes in there. Hey, it's good to have in your truck. Uh, this is another one I just sort of throw in, uh, almost the same stuff, a slightly different tourniquet. I like this one. I like the tearaway. I like to put this on the cage inside the truck, pull this off, and again, I have this stuff in my camper and my personal vehicle I got uh, just sitting in the back. So, hey, uh, show me what you guys have got in your trucks. You know, anything's better than nothing. Uh, just a boo-boo kit. Uh, just for the little stuff is great. A uh, little bit overkill here, maybe, but I like it. Uh, there's always more stuff you can add, but again, only so much goes in here. Uh, on my camper, I actually have almost like three mini kits. I got this one, this one, and another one with uh, a lot of prescription drugs and uh, big bottles of aspirins and stomach medication and all that. Good, and uh, also car sickness because I'm doing a lot of driving. So not for me, but you never know who you're with. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this. Post some pictures of what you got. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Subscribe to my channel. Also, visit my website and you can see what online locksmith training I have for beginners, intermediate, and advanced, as well as my covert methods of entry and my non-destructive methods of entry.